Okay, this is the second part of week four, day one. We're going to talk about white space and indenting in the Java files. And we will take a look at that. It's on your notes on the middle of page six on your notes. And so effective use of white space horizontally and vertically makes your code easier to read and therefore easier to edit or debug. So we're talking about doing things that don't affect the output, but they only affect how the code in your Java file looks so that if, when you have to go back and edit or debug it, you can read it more easily. And so what I told the students at, in class is if you imagine a a five paragraph essay that you write only remove the paragraph formatting and make everything one giant paragraph. Well, you can imagine how hard it would be to go back and find certain sentences and things like that where normally you would be able to say, okay, second paragraph, third line down. Well, this is a lot more difficult if everything just looks like one big glob. And so that's, the, that's what we're talking about here. So horizontally, um, this is going to be used more in Chapter 2, but just a preview of it. If you'll notice in this first, this is called a declaration, which you don't have to know that yet. You'll notice that there, there is no space before and after the equal sign. So it looks really tight here. So, But here, you see we put a space before and after. It loosens it up a little bit easier to read, nicer to read. Okay, so that's horizontally things that you can do. Uh, vertically is a matter of strategically using a blank line. In other words, hitting enter an extra time to separate two lines of code or two groups of lines of code. And that would be like uh, separating paragraphs. And again, that makes things more, uh, makes things easier to read. And we'll demonstrate this in a second. Um, the other thing is t using the tab key for indenting. So not the lines should not all go on the left margin or the left edge of the page of the file. There should be indenting. And so we use the tab key for that. The important thing to understand is that the default tab stops are set every three spaces, starting with the fourth space. So when you press the tab key, you go to the fourth space of the line. When you press it again, it'll go to the seventh space, and then the tenth, and then the thirteenth, etc. It'll always go to those tab stops when you press tab. Now there's three spaces in between those. Um, so um, anyways, we'll take a look at that too. So pressing the tab key takes you to the next default tab stop. So what we're going to see is that pressing the tab key doesn't take you three spaces all the time. Because if you're closer to the next tab stop, it'll only take you one or two spaces. So uh, we'll take a look at that right now in JGrasp. So you should have, let's take the first.java first, um, .java file again. So if you have an op ha don't have that open, you should have that open. And then come back to this. And we want to demonstrate uh, some things. So first of all, as far as the um, vertical space, we're talking about white space, uh, we are going to show that if you were going to go and make another system or another print statement, that you could, if you wanted to, we want to copy this print statement and then paste it, hit enter twice and paste it here. And then maybe you could say, um, something like this. So you would, you want to use copy and pasting whenever you can so you don't have to type. Um, but you'll notice that we put an extra space here. Now this n may not be necessary, but let's say you have a group of three print statements and then you want to do a couple of, uh, do an extra blank line uh, for another group of lines that kind of act like a paragraph, like one thought. So that's going to be something that you should use is don't have all, every line taken up. If you, let's say you have 12 lines of code in here. You don't want to have them all just 
with uh, with no blank lines in between. You want to split them up a little bit. Okay, so now let's go to File, New, and Java. And so what we want to talk about here is using the tab key. Now this font that they use in here, every space or every character gets the same amount of space. So the I has the same amount of space as the M. And so this makes things easy to line up that way. So type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And then hit enter. Now we said that there was a tab stop at every, um, so go ahead and go to under space 4, type an X, go to space 7 and type an X, and then go to 10, which is after the 9, of course, and type an X. So every time you hit the tab key, it's going to go to 4, 7, 10, and then it'll, as you go on, it'll go to 13, and etc. Um, so let's hit enter. and go back to the uh, very beginning of that line. So if you type, uh, so if you hit, if you t hit the tab key, it goes to the 4, hit the tab key, 7, and just keep typing an X, hit enter, and go back, 3, type an X, and notice even though that you are starting on the second space instead of the one. It's still, it's not going to go one, two, three and stop there. It's just going to go two times this time. So hit the tab key, it stops underneath that four, no matter what. Whoops, X. Hit another, type another X, maybe another X. So we press tab, it only goes, well actually it skipped that one. So it goes to the next tab stop, which is going to be at 10. So um, now the other thing to notice is let's hit tab again and let's type a bunch of C's. When you hit enter, it's going to be at the same indentation as the line you just came from. And so let's hit tab again and type some D's. It does the same thing. Now sometimes you're going to have to go back to the previous indentation. Well, it's going to always be three, three backspaces. So you hit backspace one, two, three, because a tab is worth three spots. And so then type, let's type a bunch of E's. And then you hit tab or enter, and then backspace three times. And then um, you've got that. So this is something that's been helpful for me. Okay, so here's what we did is in our class is we typed, uh, we actually we, we practice typing the class template. So just start with public class um, and then just go to call it white space. Hit enter and then hit a opening brace, hit enter. And now here's where we're going to indent. Well you don't indent by spacing, you indent by tabbing. And then you go public. Uh, static, void, main, and let's just, well, let's go ahead and type it in string, two square brackets, args, and then a comma, or parenthesis. Hit tab. So you note, or enter. Now you notice you're still in the same indentation, so type the opening brace for the main method. Hit tab or enter, and now we want to indent, so you got the class taken care of, now the main method, and now for print statements and other things in the main method, you want those indented. So again, don't hit the space bar three times, hit the tab key once, and then you're going to go system.out.println, and then quotation mark, hello, and then quotation marks, ending parenthesis and then semicolon. Alright, so let's say you want to do another uh, print statement and it's a different type of thing that you want to deal with, so hit enter twice. That's your vertical space and you can go system and etc. We'll, we won't do the rest. Hit enter. Now we want to close the main method, so 
we have to backspace three times, one, two, three, and do a closing brace, and then enter, and then go backspace three times, one, two, three, takes us to the beginning of the line, and do a closing brace. So that is how the white space works, and the uh, vertical spacing, and the tab key, um, how all that works. So whenever you type a program, you should have this indenting in here and work on vertical spacing so your code is easy to read. So that's the end of day one right there.